According to the World Health Organization Human Development Index 2007, out of 177 countries, Sierra Leone, West Africa was the least developed nation. That is why Compassionate Professionals on Global Mission and its partners decided to go on medical mission to help those with little or no access to health care. Our first stop was Fintonier Village, Tambaka Chiefdom, in the northern part of Sierra Leone. Team from America. So the team income from South Korea. The missionary doctor and midwife were assisted by two traditional birth attendants, TBAs, and two local nurses. In addition to the common complaints of headaches, backaches and symptoms of malaria and anemia, many were educated on preventative health care and given vitamins, toothbrushes and toothpaste. The team helped educate women about caring for their bodies in pregnancy and preparing for delivery. Many women had the opportunity to hear their baby's heartbeat with a fetal dog. After a quick 24 hours of hard work, with much appreciation from the village elders and people, as it shows with our gifts of mangoes, people were still coming with the hope of receiving care. But we had to stay on schedule and make the 12 hour trip back to our next site. Bye bye, everybody. Keep pressing on. Mm -hmm. the devil With more time and volunteers, we could have made a more significant impact to this community. Modia General Clinic, an outreach of the Soso Gospel Ministry, Lunge Village, was our next site where we continued giving compassionate care to more than 150 people. Common conditions were anemia, bacterial and fungal infections, malaria, hypertension, and gastric disorders. In addition, many were given nutritional advice and follow-up care to prevent complications of high blood pressure, which was a common condition in this area. At the end of the mission, surplus medicines will be donated to this clinic and others like it for them to replenish their limited supplies. Many times, this is the only donation they will have in a very long time. For many of the women, this may be the only prenatal visit they may have during their pregnancy before they go to a birth attendant for delivery. As the volunteers waved us goodbye, many were still hoping they could have received care. But the limitations of crossing the Roquel River by ferry to get to Freetown, the capital city, made this outreach shorter than we would have liked. Canoes such as these are more affordable for those with very limited resources. We traveled across the river on a ferry that takes more people and also vehicles. Once in Freetown, we were introduced to the Kube community by its health officer. So, I'm the community health officer in charge of Kube Health Center. Well, as you can see on the chart there, that, that's our catchment population. This clinic is catering for 31,395 people. And according to our breakdown of this population, 4% of this population are children under one year, 
which gave us a total of 1,256 per annum. That's our target for children. And the children under five years, our proportion of the percentage they are out of that population.